get uh, the clevis pin out of the end of the slack adjuster off. It's right here. Is a caught a pin on the back side. I gotta get that out and then pull the clevis pin out.
Do it in my head. Still see what's going on? Yeah, sort of. some of the rust and stuff out of there where the splines are.
All right. So this is how I did that. The tire, tire slide hammer, break, bead breaker. And then, all right, up in here, like this, on the back side of it. I was able to grab it off. I'm just cleaning the rust out of the threads just to get down the well not the threads but the splines I get it back down the, a clean surface and I'll put some nevises on it for the, the new one but you can see how hard it was to come off it would have been a, a nightmare I had to try to get it off just from this side. Not that it was much easier the way I had to do it because it took two days to get the tires off. They were on there pretty good.
Let's get the snap ring groove clear. So here's a new slack adjuster and uh, here's the ratcheting section on the back with the, the bolt on it. That's what adjusts it as it goes beyond the record, uh, the amount of slack that it allows. As it comes back, this this little arm with the bolt stays stationary and it, it ratchets the, the, uh, the splined section in the middle. So it takes the slack out. Um, you got multiple size pins. Uh, this one I had to put another bushing in because the pin that came out was smaller than the bushings that are in this slack adjuster. Um, I've been seeing them lately with extra bushings that are the smaller bushings that you just slip in. And uh, that way you can get the size you need. It's more of a universal fit. See, so. When you get the slack adjuster on the splines, what'll happen is this part stays still, and then the air brake pushes this end out to push the, to turn the S-cam. And then as it goes, as the farther out it goes, the more that this will ratchet. And then as this comes back, this stays stationary and it rotates the center spline around. So as it's, as it's coming off, it, it, it rotates once the pressure's off. And that's how they adjust. Alright, so I'm going to load the slack adjuster up and the splines of the S-cam up with uh, Nevises because next time around we don't want this kind of trouble.
Make sure your grease fitting is oriented correctly because most of the time these are universal and they'll go on either side. Like this is the same one that's on the other side. It's just, it goes on in this direction regardless of what side it's on. So on the back here, you see you got a little groove right there. Well, this little notch has to be set in the groove when you set it. So you put this on you adjust it so you have the proper amount of slack and then you rotate this little arm so you might have the arm like that you rotate the arm until it's in the groove and then you tighten it down so that'll be your point and where it'll keep resetting the slack in that point point. and you have to make sure you have it done correctly and it matches your brake can and it matches all the things it's supposed to match because some cans have a different amount of throw on it and you might not get what you need to reset the slack properly so you'll have to do your own research to make sure you're getting what you need and don't rely on me and what I'm doing because I'm this is just a generalized thing I'm doing and it's more for entertainment reasons than instructional. So push that in a little bit. Sometimes this is a little more tricky if you have the tires on and the brake drum on because I took them off I can get at the other side of the shaft and I can pull it to make the room I need and then I can push it back on but this differential here is in the way to get it in where it needs to be That's not always like cleaning those splines out so it slips on easier. Marshals on. I'll put a little pin in. Oh, yeah, I'll put some legacies on this too. Just so I can get it all on my gloves. Alright, so 
I had to go get the correct snap ring because that one that came off well you might be able to use it if you can get it off good well enough um, sometimes they, they just don't come off and they get all deformed sure it's seated in the groove correctly oh, sorry and okay so when you are installing the slack adjuster you want to put air charge your system up to at least 100 pounds release the brakes and make sure you have at least 100 pounds in there and then you want to rotate the adjuster nut to draw the slack adjuster into your clevis don't pull the shaft out but adjust it into the clevis and put your pin in and then you rotate this top bracket back to align it with the notch that's on the back side and then you will tighten it up the additive, a fuel additive under 500 <clears throat> yeah once you get your slack adjuster all set up I'm gonna take time to adjust it um, I myself set it for about an inch of slack on there or maybe a little under uh, I don't think you're supposed to have more than one inch of slack. There's a difference between slack and then throw. Um, slack is what you have in there that you're going to pull on, and 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 actually what the the force that the brake hand puts on it, I believe, is different. So you can have more with the actual throw of it because these these cans only have so much throw. But the loose slack, I believe, is supposed to be under an inch of slack. So I try to go around an inch or maybe a little under like three quarters or something so i usually get a pry bar on here and see how much slack i have in there then i just adjust it um the instructions say to tighten it until it just touches the drum lightly and then back it off a half a turn um you can do it the way you want to do it uh i would recommend you doing it the way you want to do it and the way you're comfortable with it because it's not it's definitely a safety concern if it's not done right so i will include the instructions from the hall deck site for installing these and i recommend that you follow the instructions that i include in the description over the instructions that i'm giving you so i want you to be aware that being at such a dangerous repair if it's not done right i don't want to accept liability for what your actions are so i'm trying to give you the information that you need to set it up correctly directly from the uh slack adjuster manufacturer so take every precaution that you can and don't do anything you're not comfortable with so basically that's it for this um i will grease the slack adjuster as well uh, yeah so good luck okay before before you do any of the adjusting and um, uh, be sure that you chalk your wheels you don't want to run yourself over by taking your brakes off and then crawling under your truck I know most people will do that anyway because most people know that they should chalk their wheels. I'm just putting that out there to reiterate for anyone who doesn't know that you must chalk your wheels because you're basically putting your truck in neutral 
and letting the brakes off so you can run yourself over so be sure to check your wheels anytime you don't have your brakes on and also anytime that you are under the truck you want to track your wheels